I spent all day breaking in this new rifle. Scrubbed the barrel after every shot for the first 20 shots and then about every fifth or sixth shot I'd scrub the barrel. Uh, and I left on four shots on it. I'm not going to scrub the barrel out, but I am going to clean the mechanism and whatnot. And I just want you guys to see, I couldn't find a video on how to get into this and give it a good cleaning. I'm not going to, I'm not a gunsmith. I'm not a gunsmith. Don't play one on TV. So don't do as I do, but I'm just showing you how I'm getting into it and what I do to clean it. This is my second bar. My first one was a 70s model Belgian. It was awesome. Got rid of it. Should have never gotten rid of it. Uh, this one shoots just as well. I've seen bad rap on, on these guns not cycling, not shooting, not shooting accurately. And look at my channel. I have the range report from today. You can see how well it shoots. Uh, I can I can shoot a quarter at 100 yards, basically. So it, it's very accurate. So let's get into this. Uh, again, it's unloaded, no magazine. It's clear. And we'll get to it. One of the first things we're going to do is take this forearm off so we can get into the guts. It's a number three millimeter. Allen wrench. I don't know what you guys know about brownies, but this one doesn't have to be cleaned. And cleaned and cleaned and cleaned and cleaned. Uh, I guess if it gets wet or I'd clean it once a season, probably. Alright, so now we have the uh, sling nut that comes off. to that. What I like to do is get in my wife's bowls here. She knows I'm going to do this. Now I'm going to pull the forearm off. Hmm. It just slides right off. There you go. So right there are your gas ports, piston rod. All right, these need to come out. But first, we're gonna close. Close the bolt. This one pops out, not easy peasy, nothing to it. This one, it's not as easy. So I'm just hoping y'all can see this. There's a little spring right here that's got to come up and over. And this will allow the slide release pin to come out. So pull that pin out, and then that comes right out. Dirty, so we have to do some cleaning up. Uh, same thing here, we just pick this up, tilt it up just a bit, just slightly, and it comes right out. All right, then we have to, we want to. Slide that back, and now we can get in and get to cleaning. Because it's dirty down in there. So we're going to clean there, there, there. Just clean all that up. Uh, it's not much to it. And we'll drop the trigger out and we'll clean under there. Let's just go and take the trigger out while we're at it. So, I'm going to slide the bolt forward, punch the pin out, I 
should have didn't, didn't make contact with that pin all the way down. There we go. So now the two pins are out. The bolt just slides forward and out. And it's not real dirty. It's just a little oily, but now we can get in here and clean all that muck out. When I say muck, I mean muck. It's full of muck. I use these little lint towels all the time. So again, we're not going to tell Mama what we're doing here, but we're using her kitchen scissors. Cut some towels. It's not hurting anything. They're, they're not dirty. It's clean towels. This makes these towels go a little longer. Last a little longer. We're going to make a mess. So what I like to use on these mechanisms and whatnot is number nine. It degreases and gets all the schmutz out. Um, it does stink a little bit, so I get trouble for that. So I use an old yogurt cup. Keep it in a plastic bag once in the house so it doesn't stink the house up. And I pour it, pour it in here and it gives me something to dip it into. And just go to town cleaning. So, also use some brushes and whatnot to, and some plastic hooks so we don't mar stuff up. I'm good at doing that. Boy, am I good at marring stuff up. <laughs> I'll just get the solvent in there and rub it around. Rub it around in the bowl and the It's nice. So look at all the mucks already coming up. I shot a lot of rounds today. So we do need to clean it up. I'm gonna be careful not to get this down in the in the bore because I want to keep that bore. I'm gonna keep that bore dry it takes three shots to get it where it shoots straight again after you, after you clean it up so we're not gonna towel number one down I used the Remington core locks to season this new rifle uh, and they actually shot really well on a wet barrel. They grouped up. Probably better than the uh, ELDX or the Burger Bullets. If you can believe that. Uh, my dad was a fan of Core Locks. That's all he ever shot. He killed mule deer and whitetail, pigs, you name it. And that was his go-to. All right, that piece is done. I'll get that powder burns off there. If you want, you can pull this out and get it going, but I'm just not, I'm just not interested in doing all that. not real dirty here so I'm not not too concerned with it all right so we're getting all this cleaned up getting all the powder off got to do the magazines don't forget to do the magazines so get powder on them as well Thing that we took apart now has to go back together. 
Oh no, we got to clean all these off yet. Let's see what I told you about these towels. So all this has to be put solvent on it. Everything is pretty much cleaned up now. All the muck. All right. Let's kind of dry this off a little bit. Some of these spots. There's a plastic pick. Let's go in here. Dry that off. This stuff is solvent as well. It doesn't really do a real good job of getting off the copper out of the barrel, but it does loom here. We still get a little more dirt off as we go. turned on to this ballast oil because it does a really nice job of lubricating and cleaning. back in. We should put a little oil on these springs. Yeah, the other spring. There she goes. Everything's got lube on it. Well, but I see a problem. I see a problem. I got my these spring down here needs to come up. about is right there that holds the slide release in so now the fun part begins the last time I did this this 
did not go as easy as I planned. No, this is hard though. There, it goes just like that. Get that one's in. So now we're gonna get the side release mechanism. I'm gonna spray some oil on it. This piece right here. under it goes right there and we take the slide release pin which is right here it too gets a bath of oil and it goes in right there then There we go. So that pin is in and it's closed. All right, so now we got this oiled up. Everything is good. But we need to put one more slide in. I'm going to wipe off the solvent. set. So now let's lock this trigger mechanism down just a little bit. It doesn't need much of anything. It actually needs to stay dry. All right, and then it goes in. It slides back. hands for these pins. And we grab our tap mallet with the rubber head on it. And that's done. So now all we got to do inside here. Yeah, it's a little powdery in there, so let's, let's get some more water. Oil I got on the barrel. 
thing that has metal gets oil at my house. Don't like rust. Everything gets oil. Machine screw right here, it's a wall. Allen Ranch and get her going. There you have it. Schmutz on the outside, we need to wipe off. So let's set this baby in here. Put a little spray on her rag. Let's get all that off. Not sure exactly what those scratches are. Just finish up with a terry cloth type. Get all the get all the oil off. these magazines down. Like that will stall all the magazines. And it's getting off the remaining dirt that's left. This is my after the day at the range gun cleaning. My browning goes like that. There we go. Now I'm going to pull it back and stay open. There we go. Clean as a whistle. Now it's time to go see if it can do its do. If you guys enjoyed this video because I haven't found one online on how to do this if you guys do find one let me know about it. put a comment down so I can look at it so I can see if I'm actually doing it right uh, it's a great little shooter uh, you have a look at the video I, I had posted the same day today my channel is John Boat Charlie I did a lot of fishing on John Boats and Still do saltwater fishing, but we're not in John boat anymore. But we, the name stuck. So, you guys have a great day and thumbs up for me, please. Have a great day.